Okay, this is a walkthrough of the um, binding procedure for the Spectrum radio system. I'm using uh, a DX7 transmitter. This is actually a, a, an orange clone version of a Spectrum receiver, but uh, the procedure is, is exactly the same. You'll see I've got a servo plugged into one of the channels, in this case elevator. This is just so we can confirm all is uh, correct after we finish the procedure. You'll need a freshly charged battery pack and the bind plug. First job is to push the bind plug into the battery and bind socket bottom there. It's the only socket on the receiver that this procedure will work in. It's no good trying to plug that into anything else. It must go in where the battery normally connects and it's marked battery and bind. With the transmitter still off, we then plug in our power supply, our battery. This can now go into any free socket. I'll put it in the top one here. And you'll notice that we have a rapid flashing orange light. This shows you that the receiver is in bind mode. Next, we depress the bind button on the back of the DX7 and keep it held in while we switch the transmitter on with the main power. We've selected the model concerned previously and keep the transmitter about a foot or so away from the receiver and power up. You'll see the light's gone out on the receiver. It'll now flash again. It may go out again or it may go fully solid. We're waiting for it to go fully solid. There we go. Not until then must you release that button. It is now solid orange light so we can release the bind button the back of the transmitter and turn the transmitter off. Pull the battery out of the receiver and then remove the bind plug. Now you can plug your battery back in to confirm that all is well but first off switch the transmitter back on. Wait for it to acquire its uh, channels and then plug our battery back into the receiver. It can still go into any socket, but obviously now as it's free, we'll use the proper battery socket. So power up the receiver, wait a few seconds, and we should have a solid orange light. There we go. We can confirm all is well by waggling the stick on the transmitter, and you'll see the servo is responding fine. So that's the buying procedure.